world was exhilarating, the heat was on, the lake waters lay unruffled and there was a mangle of rhythm. There was colour, there was chanting and there was a frenzied passion of people cheering, screaming, but as people cheered, screamed, bet, pushed and shoved and almost trampled on each other. People thronged the banks. The locals were used to this annual extravaganza and no matter who you were or what you did, you did not miss this race. You came, you stood and you watched and you screamed and you cheered and you jumped. In the midst of all the chaos, business flourished. Coconut, coconut water, Missy. You are liking nature fresh water? yelped a hawker. Coconut, gasped Angela. What on earth is that? Her absolutely flummoxed eyes met an equally amused pair on Brandon's face. Well, you tell me, he shouted, trying to find the direction of the shrill voice. And there in front of them was a little pint-sized chubby-cheeked boy with about six coconuts straddled around him. Coconuts, for Pete's sake. You like? questioned two gleaming eyes. And Brandon was relieved to trace the voice and very amused to see the little boy. Um, yes, I would like to have one, and so will Angela. Brandon quipped, very taken up with the showmanship. Two coconuts is hundred monies. Shall I give with Ganji or only waters? quizzed the youngster with a very naughty look in his eyes. When you're a foreigner, that's your pound of flesh. Hundred bucks? That's way too much, you little tramp, Brandon retorted. Trying to pull a fast one on me, huh? I know one coconut costs only ten bucks, and I'm not going to give you anything more, he said, shaking his head in disagreement. Okay, okay, I give for seventy-five. Special price for Chechi. The smutty pan tries his luck again, and as he pointed to Angela. Ten bucks, otherwise I don't want, said Brandon. He wasn't getting fooled again. Ten monies in the market. Here I am giving service. No, forty. Eh? Okay, he persisted. Angela was absolutely amused with his pluck. Smart cookie you are, you little brat, she said. Come on, Bran, give him the forty. I think he's proved his point, she nudged Brandon. Okay, forty for two. He smiled at the little fellow's business acumen. I know you charge me twenty bucks extra, but since she agreed, here you go said Brandon, giving him two 20 rupee notes. So that, um, right up in the beginning of the uh, book itself, I introduce you to the, uh, uh, the Kerala English, and then for the rest of the book, you'll find it being used in different ways. Um, the English, the entire English uh, uh, play of the words has also a lot to do with me working in the BPO industry for the last 12 years. So I've been working as a trainer, as a corporate trainer, and uh, being in the BPO, a lot of our training was in, in English, voice and accent and things like that. So I was constantly in touch with the American um, English, with British English, with Australian English, and our own Kerala English. So you will find uh, a lot of the times I have used uh, examples, real life uh, situations, in the book itself.